Might be the first former president to face criminal charges, but he's far from the first politician. News 4's Alexis Zotos takes a look at the similarities with St. Louis area lawmakers who have had their day in court. Absolutely no one should be above the law. Uh, I learned that lesson myself the hard way. Former Missouri State Senator Jeff Smith knows firsthand. Politicians are not above the law. In 2009, he pled guilty to two counts of obstructing justice for covering up his role in distributing negative campaign materials during his congressional campaign. Mr. Boyd, sir, anything you want to say to the citizens? St. Louis is no stranger to politicians charged. Recently, former Aldermanic President Louis Reed and former Alderman John Collins Muhammad and Jeffrey Boyd were charged and sentenced for accepting bribes. Former St. Louis County Executive Steve Stanger was charged and convicted on felony public corruption charges. Both Democrats and Republicans have both faced the courtroom. Charges against former Missouri Governor Eric Greitens were filed then dismissed. But Tuesday was a historic day. Donald Trump sat in a lower Manhattan courtroom, becoming the first former president to face criminal prosecution. Under New York state law, it is a felony to falsify business records with intent to defraud and an intent to conceal another crime. Today's unsealing of this indictment shows that the rule of law died in this country. Smith agrees there's a political component to this, but says that doesn't take away from the facts of the case. I think um, the American system is uh, founded on no one being above the law. Of course, it's impossible to disentangle politics from uh, these, um, these, these charges, and I think that you have to meet a higher standard probably when you're prosecuting a former president of the United States. Alexis Zotos, News 4.